Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm your host, Robin Zimmerman. We bring you our show each week from the beautiful Pat Conroy Literary Center in downtown Buford. We've got a great lineup of guests, so stay with us. Welcome to North of the Broad. I'm Robin Zimmerman, and our first guest today is Celeste Pruitt. She is the Director of Advancement for Holy Trinity Classical Christian School. So, Celeste, wonderful to have you with us. Thank you so much for having me, Robin. You're here for a very special reason. Mm -hmm. There is a campaign that is going to be starting about mm -hmm. visioning for the future of That's Holy right. Trinity. Mm -hmm. But let's, before we get to that, let me ask you how the school year is kind of finishing up. We're May now, so it's been oh. a tough tough school year it for the teachers been, and the students. Most definitely. It's been a tough school year, but it's been a wonderful school year. We are incredibly blessed to have been able to open the doors for in uh, school instruction this year. With, mm -hmm. And uh, we've been able to complete the school year without interruption. So wow. I'm pleased with that. And every single one of our teachers were on board with uh, returning this year and, and making sure that our students had in-school instruction. So yeah, That's fantastic. And yeah. graduation will be coming up at the end of May or in June? Coming up the end of yes. May yes. Uh, out at Old Shelton Church. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. So mm -hmm. let's talk about this visioning campaign. It's called the Campus Vision Campaign. So that's correct. What we what have wonderful news. Oh, okay. Yeah, we will be building our permanent home in the heart of Beaufort. Wow. You probably know that last fall we closed on the property that we were previously renting in downtown Beaufort. Okay. Um, we're thrilled about that because we have always wanted to call. Well, we do call Beaufort home, of course, but to be in the center of Beaufort is just a very special thing. Um, we have children that walk to school and bike to school, and then many people that travel from uh, far away, uh, Hampton County, people as far yes. as Edisto drive into Beaufort. So to be in the heart of Beaufort is wonderful for us. That's fantastic news. and. The, so the whole campus for all grades will be right in the center of Buford. And where exactly will it be, Celeste? Uh, we're down off of Depot Road on Burroughs Avenue. Okay. Um, it was at one time uh, Battery Creek Elementary School, and it has been... Um, uh, school district office buildings and a charter school at one time uh, in 2012. We moved into that space to start our school. It's mm -hmm. been a great uh, incubator for us. Mm -hmm. uh, now we own the property and uh, expansion is on the horizon. That's what I was wondering. Um, Are mm -hmm. you renovating and expanding? Well, um, because we own the ball fields that are adjacent to the school building mm -hmm. now, um, it enables us to have this space to phase out development. So the long-term plan is a multi-purpose building that will have uh, a gymnasium in it. It'll have a performing arts center. It will have uh, classrooms and uh, it'll allow us to gather as an entire school community for chapel and for fellowship and for celebrations. So that's the one piece that we don't have right now. Mm -hmm. We do have academic space right, but right not now. That so this multi purpose will, building. That's correct. So it'll enable us to do that. Uh, phase two of the building plan would be new academic space and a formal proper chapel. Um, nice. So the first building will allow us to come together for chapel and teachings and fellowship. Phase two will enable us to build um, a beautiful chapel that'll be the centerpiece of our campus um, with new academic buildings, mm -hmm. uh, two-story building. At that point, uh, we'll raise the building that's there uh, and there'll be a regulation size field for soccer and football. Wow. Mm -hmm. So how's the campaign going? Oh my gosh. I am <laughs> blessed with um, the knowledge that our campaign started in September. Of 2020? 2020. 2020. We started in September and we have raised $5.3 million no. to date. $5.3 million yes, since 2020 from 
families that are students that are there or corporations, businesses. Oh gosh, I wish it was corporations and businesses, uh, but no, this is about 120 uh, families within the community. I would say about 80% of those people have no vested interest in our school. Really? They don't have grandchildren or children at our school. They just really believe in our mission to provide an elite quality education in a Christ-centered environment. And they understand the impact that that has on our small community and at, on our nation, and they want to support it. So these are pledges that will be paid out over three to five years. Mm -hmm. Our prayerful goal is seven million, um, but we do have a critical milestone that we're just on the edge of, and that's six million dollars. The six million dollar goal uh, is what's going to enable us to get shovels in the ground okay. and get construction started this fall so that we can occupy the space next academic year. So if someone or a business mm -hmm. wants to be involved, wants to contribute to the mm -hmm. campaign, how do they do that? Well, they can contact me <laughs> at the school, 843-522-0660, or visit our website, Holy Trinity Classical School, um, on the mm -hmm. internet. Okay, yeah. very good. So the groundbreaking is just around the corner. Is that what you're saying? If we get to that $6 million If we get mark? to that $6 million goal, we're prayerful that we can start construction next fall. Oh, fantastic. Well, congratulations on this great news and... And the community that's, you know, it's been such, so supportive of Holy Trinity. You couldn't do it without them. No, without we the couldn't. Community. No, the community has been very supportive. Oh, very good. Mm -hmm. So we hope to, we'll have you back. Thank we'll you. go to, we'll actually be at the groundbreaking, I'm sure. Our groundbreaking, yes. <laughs> Thank you. Celeste Thank you. Pruitt with Holy Trinity. And we'll be right back with North of the Broad. Stay with us.